Good morning and welcome to a new video here on our channel. This morning started here in Alcudia with the most beautiful sunrise. Bastian also decided to go for a swim in this beautiful view. As you can see the sky was so red and orange. Oh, It was just a beautiful start to the day. And then afterwards actually the weather changed a bit, it got a bit cold so we decided to drive to the small village up in the mountains called Vaidemosa or Valdemosa. We are still a bit unsure how the city or the town was pronounced but this place is so beautiful and hidden up in the mountains. So Valdemosa is actually a very rich culture, cultural heritage. The town is really really a must see if you are on Mallorca. There's so much history here and also we drove through the city in the last vlog when we were driving to Deia but we decided not to stop in that town right then and there so that's why we did it today. But now I think that we are gonna head somewhere else because the weather is turning and then tomorrow we're gonna pick up the camera and hopefully have a full day of sun. So we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully the weather will be better. So first stop today was to the beach Kala P. So I've heard a lot about this beach and it was actually really beautiful. But what was unfortunately was that they haven't cleaned up this beach yet. So as you can see on the clips of this beach, they're kind of like blackish color in in between the crystal clear blue water. And usually they have cleaned up this on other beaches but Calapi was still not cleaned when we were there. It was also not allowed with dogs and it was hard to park close to the beach so we decided to drove further on and then we drove to the next beach as you can see here on this clip. Uh, I don't remember the name I will write it down in the corner and actually here you have to walk quite a bit. I think we walked for maybe 10 minutes or something because you had to park quite far away because it was kind of a private area so I think there's someone owning this whole area so you had to walk this pathway down to the beach all in all both these beaches was beautiful and then guys we drove back to Alcudia where we are now and we took Luca out for a run before we decided to go for a swim after a five kilometer run. That was just so, so nice. How do you feel? Do you feel ready? Uh, in my mind, ready. In my body, <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, I can guess so. So today's day, we are heading to the area where Bastian is competing in Mallorca Open. It's a lovely day, blue sky, and the competition is actually outside, which is really nice. But Bastian has tried to gone down three kilos in just four days. Yeah. It's been hard, so hopefully he will manage the weight today. So the weight was expected. He was yeah, 65 and a half. And he, as long as he was under 67, it was good. So he actually had a kilo to go for. So he had had some food now and soon ready for his competition. First day went good. Bastian got first place in G in minus 67 in the blue belt division, right? Yeah, and in an hour it's uh, absolute. absolute. But you got the medal. 
And now he is going in absolute division, which means that all blue belts, uh, it doesn't matter what weight you are, as long as you have blue belt, you're going against each other, right? Uh, yeah. Same belt. belt different editions. Yes. And but then only winners. And then the yeah, only the winners against each other. And then tomorrow you have Noji. Good start on the weekend. So it's day two and Bastian is today ready for no gi. Are you ready? <laughs> and we are parked right next to the competition which is right up there. So we're gonna leave Luca in the car with the fan on so that it's nice and cold. First match, a win. Now it's on to the semi-finals. Come on, Bastian. Bra. The fifteen. So competition weekend is over, and today it ended with a uh, second place silver in Nogi. 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 So all in all, it was a good weekend, as you can see. <laughs> Three medals. Three medals. Here you can see. One gold and two silver. <laughs> good job. So now, what's the plan? Uh, the first thing, first things first, um, walk Luca. We're gonna take Luca for a walk to the beach right over here. That's supposed to be really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we're driving towards Palmanova. Once again, Once we were, again. we didn't think we were gonna go back, but we're only going there for one reason. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, <laughs> and you deserve that today. So at least we got ourselves to Pizza Hut and we got pizza, right Bastian? Yeah! Celebrating this weekend with some pizza, finishing up this Sunday. This looks too nice. Well, <laughs> what just happened, huh? Ooh. Shit, man! There, we literally cannot see anything in front of us. This is just crazy! Wow! Well guys, we are back at the mainland actually. I don't think we filmed anything or even told you what was going on. So we stayed on Mallorca for two full weeks uh, before leaving the island. To be honest, after having that uh, break over the Easter where we got COVID, uh, we went back to the mainland to see my family. We kind of fell off this whole YouTube... Yeah. Uh, I don't know how hard. to describe it. It was very hard to come back. Yeah, to. yeah, because it, I feel like it's still hard. Like, we haven't really been having this good schedule that we had beforehand because we were really on a good flow before we left or before we got COVID. Yeah, it was it was the it was the main focus. Yeah, it, it really now was. It hasn't been for a very long time. And to be honest, even on Mallorca, even though we have been doing a lot of different stuff, we haven't really been uh, kind of motivated to take the camera up from the bag or filming or whatever and also we have been struggling kind of figuring out how our style on YouTube is going to be 
or, or what we want our YouTube channel to be. And I think we have spent the last week kind of also discussing and talking about how we want the rest of our trip to be like. And we have just come to realize that we just really want to enjoy our, our trip and we just want to take you guys along for that but we don't want to stress over what to film and not to film so we want to continue doing what we kind of did more in the beginning um, like just vlogging and just taking you guys along on our everyday life and hopefully now that we are back here on the mainland and have a bit more routine or at least a bit more direction like when we leave a place we know we are not going back I think that's one of the reasons why we were kind of getting out of this rhythm of filming because we we were on this island we felt like we were just driving back and forth to different places I think it's really hard for me now to kind of express how we have been feeling for the last two weeks uh, but hopefully now that we are back on the mainland it's gonna be easier for us to pick up the camera so I really apologize if this video had just been all over the place not easy to follow along uh, but the main event that happened the last week for this vlog was Sebastian's competition where he did really really well uh, and now we have already planned the next one and for the next two weeks we are driving so many new places and we are actually by the end of this week or next week driving into a new country where we have never been before so that's exciting and that will of course come in it in the next video so thank you all guys for watching and i'm so sorry for being all over the place but yeah that's just how these last two weeks have been so don't forget to subscribe down here and give this video a big thumb up and hopefully next weekend the next week the next weekly vlog hopefully will be more organized. So, bye guys. You want to say goodbye? School. <laughs>